I'm taking this bag, and I'm imagining that I'm popping a guy. Pop, pop. And I'm following up, trying to land that cross, right? But anybody can stand there, parry, parry, and you throw a feint and catch him or, because he doesn't move. So I don't want to have that vision in my head. That guy's too easy to fight. What I want to have is this vision. I'm popping that jab, popping that jab, and on that last catch, the guy's moving off angle. He's not just standing there waiting to return. He's pop, pop, and he's moving. That means I've got to track him, okay? So I'm popping, I'm popping, he steps over. So when I step over, I can land the two or whatever combo that is my follow-up. But how do I do that here? This bag does not move. It doesn't have angles. I got you. This bag is all about timing, right? So I'm just going to create a pause that mimics the angle. So we're going to go here. Pop, pop, pause, pop, pop. All right, I'm going to work a double cross just to get into a rhythm with the bag. All right? So I'm not just going to go pop, 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 pop. I want to create a pause. All right, there it is. All right, let's start with the first jab. All right, so the first jab is not a score. It's a catch. So he throws a jab and I deflect it. All right, but because he doesn't want to get caught by throwing a cross, he throws a secondary jab that is a score. All right, boom, second one. Lays my body out. As my body is reacting, retreat this one. Boom, I come back to the normal position, which amplifies the force of that blow. Pay attention to his weight. He leans down and he straightens back up. That two is gonna be sitting on him. Let that two weight on him. Faint him, he leans away, he leans straight back into it. Let that two fly. Okay, shift your hips. Hips, shoulders to the mat, shoulders to the mat. Faint him, Angelica, and throw that two. Faint him hard with the jab and throw the two. There you go. Usually, you stand me up, or once again, I could have the option of uh, throw across, slipping, and then that's where the hook could fit in. Boom! All right? Or he could stand me up, and I cover, and he comes back with the hook around the glove. You have to inject your own imagination at this point. 